Hey everyone, Daryl as a service with a update from Microsoft Loop. I'm a change manager. I work in change management, training, talking to people, helping align technology to business. I am uh, sort of technical. I can pick things up. I know enough to ask the right questions. So when a project requires me to do something like PowerShell, I have to relearn everything. Microsoft Loop is my thinking space, and I thought, well, look, I've got access to Copilot. How might I use um, Copilot to help me out with this task? True story, I have to create a PowerShell script that will connect to Microsoft Teams, that will take a uh, user list in a CSV file, and it will import those uh, users into a Microsoft Team. So this is not something I do every day. Let's, uh, let's have a look and see what, um, what actually eventuated. Right, so I've got uh, a page that I created earlier. Uh, it is, uh, here we go. The uh, PowerShell, or the, rather the prompt that I used for Copilot was, was this very thing. Write a PowerShell script that connects to Microsoft Teams and imports a CSV file of user accounts and then adds them as members to a team. So I'm using the code block here because I thought this was a great way to capture that prompt and reuse it. I'm going to copy that code over here. And we do see the results below it, but I'm going to try this again with you live. Um, so Copilot in Loop. Right. Uh, loop is my thinking space. I'm going to forward slash and I'm going to draft some content. And I'm going to paste that prompt into the Copilot prompt box. Kick that off. And honestly, I wasn't really expecting it to come up with uh, something as sensible as this. But it really surprises me that not only does it come back with the script, but it also makes use of the code block so that I can um, express the PowerShell script in PowerShell language. Um, and I might also share that around the team and just get people to, to check this over for me. So what have we got in Copilot? Well, first of all, I know that Copilot uh, has come back with its results. Uh, it is a code block, so it tells me that there's an example. Uh, it actually has coded some of these things for me. So um, I've got the few steps here to install the right modules for PowerShell uh, to connect to Microsoft Teams. Uh, I've also got the steps to connect to Microsoft Teams, so I know enough about that. Uh, then there's a step here to, to set the CSV file path. This is where I'm going to find the CSV list of user accounts. And of course, this is general. Uh, it is something that I would replace to say this is where to find the actual file. Uh, and let's just expand that to show more lines of the code. What else has it got? Looking good so far. Uh, it's also um, asking, or rather... Uh, setting out a space there to set the team ID because this PowerShell script needs to uh, uh, to name the group using the group ID. And, uh, and then it's got this final section here, which is uh, for each user in the list, then it is going to uh, go through the CSV file, add that person or that account to the uh, Microsoft team uh, based on the user ID here. So... I do have to provide the user ID. Now I know enough about the script to, to see that yes, this is, this is about right. In fact, I had to do some of this research uh, ahead of time anyway, just to make sure that this truly was a sensible script. Uh, so I'd come across these sorts of uh, commands and things already. Now look at this, it's also got a explanation uh, at the bottom of this code block um, to just to describe what the, the script is actually trying to achieve. So this is all very helpful and useful. Uh, and as a code block, or even as a page, I could share this whole block. Um, let's go here. <laughs> maybe not that. Uh, maybe if I selected the whole thing. There we go. And then chose to create a loop component so that I could share that with a team member and get them to uh, contribute. Or because it is the whole page, then I've got that option to copy as a loop component and add that to a team's chat so that I can get help from my team members. Because I'm not as confident with PowerShell, and I might want to check that with a team member who is definitely an expert. 
but I thought that was great. A, a real a real world example of how to use Copilot within Microsoft Loop and that, you know, Loop being my thinking space, that this is how I might plan out what I want to do to help uh, this customer and uh, and bulk import users into a Microsoft team. Uh, I was surprised, all right? I was surprised. If I just go through this part here again where it says draft page content with Copilot, there are some starting points that I could use for all kinds of uh, brainstorming and ideas. Each of these buttons, if you click through, it just gives you an example of something that you might prompt Copilot with. Not necessarily that it's going to match what you need, but it just gives you some ideas around the create scenario, uh, maybe how you might use certain words to brainstorm a certain topic, or come up with some steps, a blueprint for, for doing things. If we just click through, you're going to see it eventually cycle back to the same suggestions. But a real surprise there when I was able to copy and paste that, or rather create that prompt uh, for PowerShell and create that script that it came back with that and it even used that code block. So that's a, a good example of it. And um, just as a final tip here, as I suggested, maybe uh, if you do come across some good prompts that are going to be useful for your team, that you might even use the code block and uh, perhaps set it to plain text. And that way that this prompt here that I might use again to create a PowerShell script, I could copy that code, which is really the prompt, and I could go back over here and paste it into the, uh, into the prompt box so I can kick that off. So what do you think of that? Uh, I know a little long-winded, but I had to tell the story, uh, and it's been a little while since you've heard from me, but... Uh, here we are, creating some more content again around Microsoft Loop, around Copilot, around Microsoft 365. Thanks for tuning in. And if you've got any other questions or thoughts around what you'd like to see in terms of content around Microsoft 365, then let me know in the comments below. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.